Hi you guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Iwano and I hope you're lucky and doing just fine. So as you can see by the title below, in this video I'm going to share that my struggles with pornography and masturbation as a Christian. You know, most Christians are fond of talking about things when they are they when they've already overcome them of or when they've already gone through the process. But with me it is a different story. It is still a current problem and I I would want to give a little more context to the story. I have grown up in a setting where I do not have people to talk to when it comes to sexual things, you know. For the African, in the, in the African culture, it is believed that for you to talk about anything that is sexual, you need to be oriented by your grandfather or an older uncle. But for me, I haven't grown up with such a privilege. So, And you cannot take a discussion that is sexual to your parents. The only thing that our parents do tell us when, when it comes to the topic of sex is that don't do it. That is, that is where the, dis, the, the discussion starts and also ends. Most of the things that I know and have come to learn about sexual things, I should say, are things that I've read on the internet, things that I have come to experience and just, just being oriented by different people and also through reading, you know, and also hearing what the Bible truly says about sex. So my first exposure to pornography was when I was about 11 years old. So a friend of mine came with a CD at home. I, I remember back then I should have been in, 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 in eighth grade, yeah. A friend of mine came with a CD at home. You remember that time when we used to have DVDs, yeah. And then we got that CD, placed it in the DVD and we started watching. I remember being on the guard. I sat on the window and he was also guarding the gate. If I told any other person came in, they were they wouldn't be able to find us watching, you know. So we watched and that was the, the first exposure I ever had to to the act. You know, so time passed, you know, when we were young, we used to grow up with so many siblings, with so many relatives around. There was this one cousin of mine who introduced me to the act now of masturbation you know so we were bathing together i remember vividly and we were bathing and he told me to say touch yourself do a b c d do you know all those nasty nasty things and then the first time experience i was so perplexed and surprised to say what is really going on what is what is this whole thing you know i got a lot more confused as we grew older and also got access to the internet via owning smartphones the problem started escalating, escalating, and it just grew to, to a level where it became somewhat a daily thing that I could do, you know. I could do it every day, every night, and every chance I got to, so long I was in private and, and alone. I started regarding it as a problem, really, when I began working in my faith and also pursuing Jesus Christ in all that I did. The biggest disadvantage is that when I kneel down to pray about the, the problem, I would manage to stay away from it as much as I can, even though the urges are st even though the edges are there, you know. But one thing that gets me is that you can ask for forgiveness from Jesus Christ every now and then, but then you still fall back into the sin. It it became a recurring thing where you, you do the act and also go back to, to pray. No, Lord Jesus Christ, this is the last time I'm doing it. I'll never go back to the sin. I'll, I'll, I'll never, never, ever do it again. And you just find yourself back into the, the sin, back into the temptation of doing it. And what makes it very difficult is that it's quite difficult to resist, especially in the first few stages, you know, yeah. So one may ask to say, do you still have the urges to masturbate and watch pornography? Yes, they're still there. The urges are still there. But I am trying by all means to, to work on the problem because I've already identified that this thing is not taking me anywhere, you know, in as much as their pleasures may be there, but the type of guilt and shame that it comes with doesn't even, doesn't even equal to the, the, 
the enjoyment itself and i remember it triggered to it triggered me so much that this became a problem it wasn't just something that was natural because i remember every time i do it i remain so drained i remain so so clouded with so many thoughts with so many thoughts and also the type of guilt and shame that i feel is quite insurmountable you know it's something that i regard as something as big sin if at all it is there you know a sin which separates you directly from the lord feeling so much distant from god himself the biggest struggle really came in when it started it started placing a barrier between my relationship with god there would be times when i would quit it let's say for a week and things would just be moving all right and then i fall back into the temptation you'd resolve and say oh dear lord i repent of this sin and i'll never do it again but unfortunate enough i used to find myself in situations where i could always do the act you know it became an addiction just like that the longest period i've stayed from the act is 27 days and i relapsed you know so making this video i'm sure upon making this video this is my very first day of staying away from the act you know so we've relapsed and we are we are on the road to starting up a new a new series you know a new journey to becoming a better person to becoming what god really purposed for me you know my main struggle has been focusing on on god and also the relationship that i share with him it really affects how i relate with him to an extent that i fail to pray i fail to to overcome the type of guilt that it comes with i fail to to do anything that is productive when you look at me in most instances you would think that everything is right but it's more like i'm in a dark cloud and alone you know i feel so much alone and it's somewhat an attack that the devil does use especially on us the young people who are trying as much as they want who are trying their hardest to have a relationship with jehovah you know i am coming from from a christian context and from a christian background where we are taught to say there shouldn't be sex before marriage you know and that is something that i've come to to live that is something i've come to uphold my whole life and unfortunately when it comes to the act of masturbation and pornography the bible is quite silent about it and it somewhat places a very difficult it somewhat places a very difficult a very difficult task on an individual because we, when you when you read in the science context it says that um it is very healthy for your body and at times i used to use those excuses those excuses to myself to say yeah i'm experimenting on how to be a man you know a man should be able to do all these things but that shouldn't be the thing the crazy thing is when you come here on the internet to search for thing how to quit pornography and masturbation you find a whole lot of videos about people talking about the problem they could have gone through it and most of the things they'll be telling you are practical but not necessarily practical you know no take a cold shower never be alone chan 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 you know in as much as those things may work out the best and possible way to go about the whole the whole problem is going th with jesus christ hand in hand you know asking for the power of the holy spirit to be with you and also just surrendering the whole problem to god almighty to say hmm, this is the problem i have this is the problem i have and i need your help with it because on my own i have tried but it seems like it is not working out so you help me out you know and when we purpose in our hearts like that and are so sincere about it the lord definitely comes through and he he then helps us with with breaking those acts you know yeah so i'll be giving you guys the the tease 
on how to go about the problem so uh, in in other words you you hear the term no fab you know yeah that's the the term we'll, we'll be using because porn and masturbation are somewhat difficult <laughs> difficult things to mention you know so me sharing this story and me sharing everything about the addiction to pornography and masturbation is not necessarily to ask for help but rather to bring out a lot more sensitization to the people out there that we have a lot of young christian men out there who are struggling with this thing you know and and to put it on the roadmap i'm on a road to recovery from this whole thing and i'll be giving more updates as time goes by yeah i think I think if 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 I remember anything, we'll be discussing in in my future videos. With all that being said, so the journey is basically the journey is basically to pursue purity, not necessarily purity of staying away from sexual immorality, but also the purity of the heart, the purity of the mind, the purity of the flesh, and also the purity of the heart the goal is to be is to pursue purity in all angles not necessarily purity of the physicality or just or coming here on the internet to say i'm staying pure i'm, I'm staying away from sin and pornography no it's not just that it is staying pure and true to who god really is having the purity of mind having the purity of the temple of the lord and also having the purity in the spirit and also in our souls so that is the journey i'm embarking on and i'll be very glad to have you all on board you know so i'm i'm i really wish this video finds you in a in a very good state you also receive it and take it as um as a plus and take it as your sign to start a recovery process as well you know yeah so i want to be very pure i want to stay holy you know i fully understand that each and every day that passes by is an opportunity for us to get closer to the lord and also just prepare ourselves for the return of our lord jesus christ and also preparing doesn't just has to be physical but also in the spirit because it is the spirit that shall meet the lord jesus christ we should always believe and understand that in as much as we fall as many times as we can the lord still is and will always be faithful to us but we should also take that with caution because we should we should never by any means take the grace that the lord grants to us in for granted reach out in the comment section let me know what your struggles are you know and also how you're dealing with such a problem and we'll we'll keep on interacting see you next week <laughs> yeah so peace out